the basic tenets with this is first off when you're dealing with a tower you take a look at the asymmetries of the different sides. The rule of thumb is that if you have an even number followed by another even number then you can make 90 degree turns which means you could turn it down and uh, actually turn it across from here. If it's an even with an odd then you can only do 180 degree turns. So this is going to be uh, the simplest form of demonstrating some of the basic algorithms. This one only has uh, corners but no edges so we're going to talk purely about the corner flipping algorithm and also the couple of parity situations that you're going to run into but once you learn that you can solve any type of tower okay now once you have a scrambled tower first off are you in the cuboid shape if not you're going to want to try to get yourself in the cuboid shape the other question to ask yourself is do you have a middle layer now if you have an even number down here as part of the length of the tower you're not so you're gonna have to have a slightly different strategy if you do have a middle layer where you've got symmetry on the top and the bottom you're gonna to want to get that in place because once you get it back to a cuboid form it's not gonna work unless this is in place so this is such a situation so the first thing that I'm gonna do is try to get all of this where it's supposed to be plus it'll define what my true top and my true bottom is so it's usually pretty easy at this stage here's the yellow here yellow here move this down then just move these in place just move this across bada bing bada boom no problem over there this is going to be the point at which i decide where the bottom parts are going to go and the top parts are going to go the bottom parts are generally, we generally steal from the top in order to place them, and the top we start doing middle swapping and a, a adjacent edge swapping and um, middle and opposite uh, edge swapping. So looking here, let's see what we've got. We see that the majority of this is gray, we've got a black, and the question is what is actually the side? Well, let's see what guides us in terms of the middle. We see red over here, and we don't see the right color here, nor do we see it here. What that tells me is that this is probably the real color on this side. And I can prove that by moving this here, and I see yellow and green. Which means I'm going to be swapping down all of the blacks down to here instead of the grays. So the way that I do that is um, I'm going to find a black up here that has green and red, which is this one over here. And I know that I'm putting it in place right if it's flipped because if it's flipped when I bring this down to here it's going to flip this down which brings to the first algorithm of bringing a top portion to a bottom portion and flipping it in the right place which is going to be uh, 2R U 2R UI 2R. It's going to do two things. First off it's going to take this and bring it effectively down here um, but unfortunately it's also going to create a parity situation in the middle layer but we're going to get out of that parity situation as soon as we apply that algorithm again as long as we turn it from this side so these are things that I've just assumed everybody knew so the next one that we're going to take from up here is the one that's red and well not green because green came from this side but red and blue so try to keep track of what you're doing we already have the green here so I'm going to move this over here looking for the red and the blue and here it is up here and it's going to be flipped so that's exactly what we want 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R so you can see we're building a case down here building that we took the parity out and now I have this we've just got one more which is going to be the blue and yellow which is what we want 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R so we've got our bottom in we did create parity here but we don't worry about that because now we're going to do the top once we transition to the top, and this goes for any type of cube and any type of co co complexity that you're going to see, once we do that, now we have to start doing adjacent swapping because we have everything up here that needs to be here. But uh, in this case, it's all edges, it's all corners and no edges. What we're going to be looking for, uh, and this will just kind of very simply demonstrate that, is we're going to be moving this to here. Um, so to move this to here, the algorithm is, again, simply 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. And then keeping this stationary, the top and the bottom here all have to move in this direction, in this counterclockwise direction. So we're going to do a UI, and then we're going to do a D. Then we're just going to do the inverse of what we just did. 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. 
Okay, it'll get it, it didn't change this. We still have parity over here. This isn't something that changes this, uh, but it did move that. It did do that switch. So now we're going to move this here. And we're going to do another switch here to here. Sometimes you have to do it twice. If this red one weren't here, if it were here, you'd have to do it, move it to here, and then move it to here. So we just do that same algorithm again. 2R, U, 2R, UI. 2R, holding this straight, this whole top and bottom turn this way. 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. So we put the top and the bottom in. Now these were not moves that took this parity out. Turns out in this particular cube, there's a very easy way of doing it, of just doing 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U. But I'm going to keep it like this to demonstrate how to get out of a parity situation at the higher order cubes. When you see a situation like this, you're going to hold it to where the opposite sides are facing you, um, like this, to, uh, to the um, left and to the right. And the algorithm that I'm going to do, if it's just one cube that's in parity, uh, is going to be a, uh, think of U, R, F. That's how I look at it. So it's going to be a 2U, two 2R, two 2F. Two then you do a, a 2U. If you just have one that was out of place, you just do one 2U. If it was two, as you're going to see, well, we're going to deal with that later. Then we finish it up with a 2F, 2R, two 2U. Two and then it's finished again with the 2F, and that'll get you out of that. So this is just a very simple way of demonstrating the corner, um, the corner flipping algorithm. But we're going to see this come over time and time again. Well, let's add a middle to this. So now we've got this guy. The difference between this one and the previous one is that we now have edges to deal with. And uh, this will be a good way of demonstrating the um, edge swapping algorithm. Now here we've defined our tops and bottoms. Anytime you have an odd number, I know what my middles are going to be. If it's an even number, I, I don't. So this is obviously the yellow, this is obviously the, the white. I guess maybe we can scramble it a little bit more. Make it look a little less simple. Okay. So I'll put the, the, the yellow on the bottom. Now anytime you have something like this where you have middles, you want to solve for something of a cross. So we already have this over here, so here's our red. So what goes right to the right of, of red? And the bottom one, again, we're going to be stealing from the top. So to the right of red, according to this corner, I'm going to find a corner that's of the same color. To the right of that is going to be blue. So here's the blue and yellow. Just going to move that in, move it down, and there it is. Now this is simple stuff, but uh, this is just kind of a review because it'll help the other tower cubes um, make a lot more sense. So then I know that just opposite, this is going to be the uh, orange. So find the orange one, which is right here. Move that in. And then the only one that's left is green, so move that in. So I have my cross here. doesn't matter to me what's happening on the top part. I'm still pilfering from the top to make my bottom. So this is already in place. So I want the green and the red, which is uh, right here. And you can see it's opposite. So it's the same algorithm that we did with the... Uh, 2 by 2 by 3, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R, and there it is. Same thing here. Um, now is when things get a little bit more complicated, but again, upon learning this, any tower you'll be able to conquer. When putting this in, we don't really worry so much about the middles yet. We could try to get the cross, but uh, it doesn't really matter at this point. We want to put the edges in place. And what I'm actually looking for is I'm looking for a situation where all the edges are of the same color, but the middles need to be swapped. Um, and the way that I do that is I'm going to apply an algorithm that's going to swap this edge to here, which we already learned from this guy. It's exactly the same algorithm. And what I'm going to be looking for initially is either all of them in that sandwich formation that I've been talking about or just one of them. Right now, I see none of them. If none of them are there, I can kind of pick an edge that I can swap that'll make it go there. If I can, it really doesn't matter. So let's just see what happens when we apply that. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. And then we have to turn the entire cube. There's no middle that we, that we, hold, that we hold steady. So it's like turning this here and turning this here. So basically we just turn the cube. 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R.
That's not going to change the bottom, but it's going to do some flip-flopping around here. Still no go, but I know if I flip this to here, I'm going to have a nice sandwich here. So 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Turn the whole thing. 2R, U, 2R. All right, so there it is there. I've got my sandwich. And I only have one of it. What you do at this point is you move it to the left side and you do exactly the same thing again. So anytime you get it, if it's just one, move it to the left side. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Rotate it, 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R, and that'll get you your sandwich. The middle swapping algorithm, anyway, to do the adjacent middle swap, 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Not hard to remember, but it did put that there, kept that here. All right, because this is on top of each other, like dominoes, so to speak, we don't have to worry about middle parodies or things like that. All we have to do is just have a grand old time flipping these guys. This just very easily demonstrates both the middle edge Swip, uh, uh, switch, the adjacent edge uh, uh, switches and the corner switches and how to steal from the top to the bottom. That's really the basics that, that, that you need to know.